Hi, this is Gretchen Defonte, the Assistant City Manager in Batavia, New York. I also serve as the City's Flood Information Coordinator. This presentation is third of five in a series on flood protection for the City. Protect you and your family. There are some actions you can take now to keep safe in the event of flooding. Safeguard your possessions. Create a personal flood file containing information about all your possessions and keep it in a secure place, such as a safe deposit box or waterproof container. This file should have the following information. A copy of your insurance policies with your agent's contact information. A household inventory. For insurance purposes, be sure to keep a written and visual record of all major household items and valuables, even those stored in basements, attics, or garages. You can either photograph or videotape your belongings. Create files that include serial numbers and store receipts for major appliances and electronics. Have jewelry and artwork appraised. These documents are critically important when filing insurance claims. For more information, you can visit the website knowyourstuff.org. Copies of all other critical documents, including finance records or receipts of major purchases, are also important to have. Secondly, you'll want to prepare your house. First, make sure your sump pump is working and then install a battery-operated backup in case of a power failure. Installing a water alarm will also let you know if water is accumulating in your basement. Next, you'll want to clear debris from your gutter and downspouts. This is especially important in the spring as many gutters have become clogged with leaves, sticks, and other debris. Raise your electrical components. Switches, sockets, circuit breakers, and wiring should be at least 12 inches above your home's projected flood elevation. If you don't know what that elevation should be, a flood elevation certificate will tell you. Refer to presentation number two in this series for information about how to obtain a certificate. Place the furnace, water heater, washer and dryer, and cement blocks at least 12 inches above the projected the projected flood elevation, and move furniture, valuables, and important documents to a safe place. Third, develop a family emergency plan just like you would for any other emergency. Create a safety kit with drinking water, canned food, first aid, blankets, a radio, and a flashlight. Post emergency telephone numbers by the phone and teach your children how to dial 911. Plan and practice a flood evacuation route with your family. No safe routes from home, work, and school that are on higher ground. Ask an out-of-state relative or friend to be your emergency family contact. And have a plan to protect your pets. Number four, avoid potentially hazardous areas. Stay away from the Tonawanda Creek, especially at rapid flow times after ice and snow melt heavy rains. Avoid natural floodplain areas like Kibbe Park, that are designed to collect floodwaters to prevent the flooding of nearby properties. And avoid flooded streets. Rescue workers have had to help stranded motors from flooded vehicles during every flood in the city's history. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Some other things you can do to stay safe during a flood. If water rises in your home before you evacuate, go to the top floor, attic, or roof. Listen to a battery-operated radio for the latest storm information. Be sure to turn off all utilities at the main power switch and close the main gas valve if advised to do so. If you've come in contact with floodwaters, wash your hands with soap and disinfected water. For more information on emergency preparation, talk to your insurance agent or visit ready.gov. The next presentation, four of five in this series, we will review both property protection and responsible building.